Hello, this is Mark with Gates Corporation. Gonna walk you through some of the technical aspects of the Gates carbon drive. Back in 2005, when we were beginning carbon drive, we quickly realized that this belt wasn't up to the demands of cycling. And so we kind of started from scratch to build a belt with a bigger tooth, um, something that was gonna get more purchase on the sprockets for that sort of low RPM, high torque application of cycling. Um, and then we also changed the shape of the tooth um, so that it actually gets a little bit more purchase on the sprockets. Another cool aspect of our belt is that it's gonna have a center track. So rather than running flanges on the outside of the sprockets, we have one flange down the very center of the sprocket and a corresponding groove in the belt. So there's no risk of the belt derailing. All right, so now we'll quickly walk through how the belt is constructed. So this is a, a Gates carbon drive belt here. The reason that it's called carbon drive is because it has carbon fiber tensile cords. Now the carbon tensile cords are gonna run the whole diameter of the belt. It's gonna be just as strong or stronger than any bicycle chain on the market. There's gonna be a polyurethane body and that's gonna be the bulk of the belt. So the tooth portions here, and then there's also gonna be a, a protective jacket on the tooth surface. Um, that not only protects the polyurethane, but it's also gonna reduce the amount of friction. If you look closely on the inside here, you can see the individual dots. Those are the individual carbon cords inside the belt. And so super, super strong. There's no stretch, there's no give to it. It's just a really rigid belt. 